Jones shot and killed more than one person that night. So many lives were shattered and will never be the same again. Families torn apart in the aftermath of a shooting at an NAU fraternity party. If it were possible, I would, in a heartbeat right now, just trade places with Colin Brew. If he could be at home with his family and I could be dead, I would do that. But that, that's not possible. Emotion overflowing in the courtroom as a judge prepares to sentence the student who pleaded guilty to shooting fellow students, killing one. This is why I ask you to give him the maximum sentence of 10 years because he did cause catastrophic damage that night and a rippling effect that goes on and on in so many lives. And now, a conclusion. Stephen Jones sentenced to six years in prison for the 2015 shooting at NAU that killed one student and injured three others. Thanks for choosing us at four. I'm Faye Fredericks. Our Jamie Warren inside that Flagstaff courtroom today for his sentencing. And Jamie, it was an emotional day all around for everyone in that courtroom. Yeah, Jones's defense attorney telling us after today's sentencing that while he agreed with the judge's decision, like the judge had stated, no one was ever going to be happy with today's outcome. In fact, Jones showing a lot of emotion inside of the courtroom, crying and at one point telling the judge that if he could, he would trade places with the student he shot and killed. Stephen Edward Jones. With his wrists and ankles shackled, Stephen Jones, alongside his attorneys, listened to those impacted by that day. It's been a long four years since I've been trying to not relive that moment on a daily basis. Two of the students shot by Jones, Nick Peering and Kyle Zintek, spoke about the pain they still feel. These two bullets were only inches from my spine and could have easily paralyzed me. And as for the student who didn't survive, Colin Brew, his family playing this emotional tribute, his mom speaking through tears to the judge. I miss hearing about his dreams <laughs> and the businessman he aspired to be. But Jones's defense attorney says Jones wasn't a violent person. And he was very sheltered, again, and experienced in the world. He'd never been in a fight in his whole life. He says Jones was being beaten and choked on the ground and fired shots into the air without aiming. A reckless act, he says, but not intentional. As the defense showed video of the night, he was questioned by police. A moment of remorse as Jones broke down in tears. He never lost sight of the fact that people were hurt and a family no longer had a son. If it were possible, I would, in a heartbeat right now, just trade places with Colin Brew. If I could, if I could, if he, if he could be at home with his family and I could be dead, I would do that. I am. Uh, but that, that's not possible. And again, Jones was sentenced to six years in prison. He was facing up to 10 years behind bars. Live in Flagstaff, Jamie Warren, ABC 15, Arizona. Jamie, thanks. Two